friends, thank you so much for watching. In today's video, I have for you a couple great pairs of jeans that will make you look and feel great without breaking the bank. A really cute dress from Walmart that we actually have to take a vote on and make a decision. A few items from Amazon, so much to cover, so let's dive in. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Stacy. my channel. We are all about budget-friendly fashion, home decor, and more. And if you'd like to join our amazing community of budget-friendly fashionable friends, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit that thumbs up while you're there. All right, guys, coming in at number Number one are these jeans from the Sofia Vergara line. Oh my gosh, these jeans are amazing. You guys are going to love these jeans. So they are a high rise or a high waisted high rise jean. They have a little bit of that boot cut flare, not too much flare. They also have a slim fit, but not too much of a slim fit. They are just so comfortable. And really you could style these up, you could dress them down, but they are definitely a comfortable pair of jeans. You will notice they have a little bit of like a light washed detail in the front, in the back here, and then it kind of transitions into a little bit more of a medium wash. Just very comfortable, very cute. They are high waisted. They have like a little double lap right over here, a button, or actually two buttons in the front, but yeah, definitely very comfortable. They are uh, made of 66% cotton and then have a spandex blend, but a good amount of movement, a good amount of stretch. I just cannot get over how comfortable these jeans are. They do have a little tiny distressing on the pocket here, but not too much. I believe these jeans are priced at $29.50 and they are calling these uh, the Mirasol boot cut jeans. But like I said, you could definitely dress these up with a pair of heels, a pair of sneakers. Let me slip these on so you can get a good idea as far as the height. Now I am 5'4 for height reference. I will have my height and weight along with the links to everything in the description below but yeah I'm high 5'4 for height reference and these actually come in two sizes you have a regular fit and a short fit and I went with the regular size so give you a good idea as far as how it ends on my foot here but yeah very cute jeans. I tell you that Sophia Vergara, she knows how to make a great line of clothes. Now, I actually paired it with this top from Amazon. This is a long sleeve button down top in this beautiful pink color that we're seeing a lot this season. There are other color options available to you guys, but it's just a very soft top. It has like a, a satin feel. It is a 100% polyester, and they also recommend hand washing it and letting it air dry. So keep that in mind. I did go with a size small. It does have a little bit of a relaxed fit, so stay true to your size. What's nice about this top too is that it is long enough that you could wear with a pair of leggings, feel comfortable. You have a little bit of that high-low action going on, but just a great top. You could pair with a pair of jeans. You could wear, oh my gosh, if you paired it with white jeans, you would look so cute. With the white jeans, the color would just really pop off. So, and also maybe wear it to work. It's a great top to wear uh, with a, a black pair of trousers. You'll look really cute. Before too. I move on to that next pair of jeans, I wanted to share with you a couple pairs of sneakers that were just recently sent to me from Fitville. Fitville is a shoe company that specializes in promoting foot health. They sent me a couple pairs of sneakers for free to review, uh, review and share with you guys my thoughts. And I have to say, I'm actually impressed with these sneakers. Now, what's nice about these sneakers is they have a wide toe bed, or what do they call it? A wide toe box. So most sneakers have a narrow toe box, and when you place your feet in, your toes kind of just crunch up there. What's nice is they have that wide toe box, so you'll notice that your toes are a little bit more freely and can move around freely. Very nice if you have any kind of foot problems, or maybe if you have a wide foot, check them out. I will have an exclusive link in the description below, along with a discount code of STACY30 for 30% off. But guys, I had to check these sneakers out for you, test them out yesterday. So my husband and I went for a bike ride. We also went for a walk. We weren't sure, you'll notice in the footage, there was a storm brewing. So we weren't sure if we were going to get our walk in. So anyways, but as we were making our ride, riding around the neighborhood, we have mulberry trees throughout our neighborhood and it's season. You can pick the mulberries right off. They're so delicious. So as I was jumping off my bike, cause I, I get I always get so excited when I see the mulberry trees. I'm like, Oh, I got to get a mulberry. <laughs> but as I was jumping off, 
my feet hit the ground because I get so excited and I thought to myself, oh no, my heels, no, these had shock. Uh, they have shock absorbers in them and, and it truly does work. I had said to my husband, I was like, oh, wait a minute here. I don't have any kind of heel pain. Usually when I hit the ground, I'm like, oh, why did I just do that? But these definitely absorb the shock. So I was impressed. We did take a mile walk after walking in these. They are comfortable if you're doing long distance walking. Maybe you're going to a theme park this summer. Like I said, definitely check them out they're a comfortable pair of sneakers and like they do have that nice if you have a wide foot they have a few different options for you for your wide foot they have that wide toe box I usually wear a toe cushion when I wear my sneakers because I don't want my toe rubbing together I purposely did not wear it when wearing these sneakers last night because I wanted to see if my toes would be comfortable if they would move freely very comfortable very impressed with these sneakers so like I said check them out now on to this next pair of jeans this next pair of jeans is also from the Sofia Vergara line and these are the boyfriend jeans they are just so comfortable just like the last pair now these jeans are 99% cotton 1% spandex they are a mid-rise jean they do have a little bit of a raw hemmed finish just like an ankle cut now I picked these up in a regular size they also have a short option available to you and again I'm 5'4 for height reference but just a comfortable pair of jeans I I believe these are priced at $27.50. I am wearing these in a size four, and as you can see, I have a little bit of room here, so I would stay true to your size, but definitely a comfortable pair of jeans. Great to dress up, great to dress down with this kind of cut, nice and stylish. Now I paired it with this top that's actually from Amazon. This top is a V-neck. It kind of has that waffle knit texture. I am wearing it in a size small. It is in this nice kind of like a purplish blue color there are other color options available to you now they actually offer this in a long sleeve version which i shared oh my gosh january of last year i shared that top a long time ago it is a bestseller along with this one too because it's just a nice great easy top something to slip on but like i said they have a long sleeve version and the um this is the short sleeve same type of detail throughout the sleeve which is nice it's nice to kind of have a t-shirt that has a little bit of detail to it just to take a kind of simple everyday look and elevate it a little bit but let me untuck this it does have a good amount of length to it right over here and then like i said it's in that nice waffle waffle net uh detail Next are these shorts also from the Sofia Vergara line. Now I actually shared these shorts a couple videos ago, but I had to share them with you guys again. They're just so comfortable. They are very soft. They are 99% cotton. They do have a nice curvy fit, a little bit of a stretch to them. I believe 1% spandex. Now they're calling this color like a breeze color, but it's more like that kind of that old school acid wash color, but just so cute and comfortable. Perfect to keep you cool during the warmer months it has a little bit of distress detail like I said that little raw hem finish just a cute comfortable pair of uh, shorts <laughs> my brain wanted to say sneakers I got shoes on the brain but anyways so moving on to this next dress so this dress may you may have seen a few youtubers have been sharing this dress I can see why it is a bestseller it is beautiful just a beautiful dress it is from let's see it's from the free assembly line hundred percent cotton I did pick this up in a size small right over here but what's nice about this dress is oh my gosh it's just a a pretty little color now this is in the bone color it has let me turn that around so you can see that it has nice little um, floral detail all throughout a nice beautiful blue color it has a nice empire waist which is very flattering for the figure the dress does have a little tiered layer on the bottom it is lined underneath right over here it is lined underneath just a very cute dress it has the little over the shoulder uh, nice little elastic stretch over here the waist is also let me just take this off real quick <laughs> the waist is also a nice little elastic waist right here so definitely very comfortable it definitely moves with you now the big thing about this dress it is definitely a very cute dress but 
the it's these straps the straps just drive me crazy now i see the purpose of the straps they're actually kind of nice having these little straps and tie downs because you can actually wear a regular bra with this dress have it underneath those straps you got no issues you're good to go but if you want i mean personally i think and this is where you guys come in i need to make a decision should we because this dress is definitely a keeper it's just so cute and just so light and flowy should we you could you do have the option of tucking them in but then i think well are you am i going to ever really oh this is all pinned together but yeah if you you do have the option of kind of tucking them in but then over time they're just going to pop out so what do you guys think should we cut them or let them be, tuck them in. Or do you guys think you like the stri or stripes? <laughs> do you guys like the stra straps? I can't speak. Do you guys like the straps? Or would you prefer to just say, hey, you know what? Let's cut them off because they just look so much better. I think, oh my gosh, look at this. I just think the dress looks so much better without those straps on. It's a little distracting hanging there. But anyways, let me know your guys' thoughts. Leave a comment below. Now, I did have a couple things. Oh, I have a couple more things to share with you guys. But before I go further, I did want to talk about the um, jumpsuit I shared in the last video. You guys are loving this jumpsuit. Oh, it's so comfortable, so just so cute. But anyways, it has the nice little ruffle detail, V-neck detail here. It is a zipper closure in the back. And I did pick this up in a medium size. You want to size up in this. So if you normally wear a small, go for a medium. However, if you are bustier on the top, you might even want to consider sizing up two sizes because this definitely fits like a glove. It fit me like a glove. Um, my weight is, oh, what am I? I'm 5'4". <laughs> Anywhere between 135 pounds to 140, depending on what I ate that week. And it does fit. No, not, not a lot of room for error. You know, there was a little bit of movement there, but not not too much so definitely take that into consideration now it does come with its own little self-tying belt and what I did was I went and purchased this set of belts again I shared with you guys I'll have everything linked below and it just added such a nice little nice little detail and really jazzed up the outfit now one of you guys made a comment about this set of belts you have this set of belts and you said in the, in the past, this kind of, there's two double screws back here and you said it kind of loosened. So keep that in mind. If you notice yours are loose, my pack is fine. But if you notice that's a little loose, you can just kind of tighten that, keep that in mind and everything else. What else do I have here? Oh, I have a couple items from, oh, before we go into those items from Amazon white jeans i've shared these jeans a few times a few of you guys have had questions about them so i thought i'll share them again <laughs> now these are actually from old navy are these the white okay so these are from old navy i did pick these up in a size four i wear these jeans all the time guys i love these jeans they're so comfortable and just uh i just i just love them so but i'm a big fan of white jeans anyways if you're looking for a comfortable cute pair of white jeans priced under 40 dollars check them out now they have a lightweight kind of like a medium lightweight um feel to them so they're not too see-through i don't find that you're seeing every bump and lump inside these jeans you know most some white jeans can fit like that um, so for me i have found them comfortable i've worn these numerous times i've actually washed them a handful of times and they have held up very well but I don't think, definitely when you're wearing white, you want to go with your nude undergarments. But otherwise, as far as the quality for the price, you can't beat it. They're not too sheer. Definitely comfortable. I would recommend them. If you pick them up, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I love to get your guys' thoughts, um, share inspiration, and so I can share with everybody because we are a big community here. So make sure to subscribe to my channel. And then this next pair that, again, you've seen a few times, these are the wide leg jeans from um, Old Navy as well. Again, reasonably priced under $40. These are cute and stylish. These to me have like a little bit of a thicker feel to them. I don't know why, just slightly a little thicker than the other ones. And oh, I forgot, these are called, 
what are they calling these? These are the wide straight legs, kind of of a slim, uh, slim cut, so they do fit very nicely to you. And I did pick these up in a size four. For me personally, I like my jeans to have a little bit more of a fit to them, not to be too baggy or too loose. Because then over time, as they loosen, I notice throughout the day, I know that's the style, but I'm like, why doesn't my pants look so baggy? But anyways, so yeah, check these out. These are the wide cut. Like I said, I am noticing a little bit of a more thickness on these. Now I have a couple hair products I wanted to share with you from Amazon. I know a few of you commented, in, hey, hey Stacy, you're located in South Florida. How's your hair not so frizzy? Anyways, I have been using this lately, the past couple few weeks now, and this is the Olaplex, Olaplex <laughs> number seven. Got this from Amazon, and it is just kind of like this little bit of a, this oil. As you can see, I've been using a little bit of it. I usually use it when my hair is damp, I'll blow dry it, and I actually use it again uh, a little bit more to tame my hair from all the frizz and the humidity I am exposed to pretty much on a daily basis. So I got to the point where I was like, I can't take it anymore. I'm tired of my hair just being like all crazy all over the place. So it says it reduces frizz and flyaways. I'm all for it for reducing the frizz. I can go to work. I'm usually working outside, sometimes five, six hours before I'm inside and no frizz. I still look decent. I mean, half the time I would leave and be like, oh my gosh, look a hot mess. So, <laughs> so yes, it does help reduce frizz. It also, it says it shortens drying time. I don't know, it takes forever to blow dry my hair. So that I have not noticed. If you use this and you notice, hey, it does you know, shorten your dry, or drying time, let me know, leave a comment below heat protection up to 450 degrees. So that's good. You know, you want to protect your hair as we get older. It is a little bit more fragile. At least mine, I'm noticing it. So um, that's a nice feature. And then it says, what is, oh, the flyaways. I, I don't know, softens and detangles. Okay, yeah, your hair will be nice and soft. I have noticed that too. So, but the flyaways, now, if you saw my last video, I mean, sometimes guys, I look like a peacock. You know, you guys are so nice. No one makes a comment, but I'm like, I don't know about the flyaways here. I'm always like, what the heck? I'll walk out. My husband's like, what is with your hair? I'm like, I don't know, but it's not frizzy. So I found this, they're calling this click, click, quick slick. So this is just kind of like this little stuff that you kind of, kind of looks like it's in a mascara bottle. And you basically, my mirror's way over there. You basically, I kind of rubbed it on my flyaways I was having right over here on the top and everything. So you'll notice I don't have many, oh gosh, look at my hair. Whenever I do these changes, guys, my hair just, <laughs> it moves all over the place. But you'll notice if you compare my hair with the last video, I mean, I literally, <laughs> I had flyaways just sticking straight up. This is working. So I noticed it has a little bit of a tech, a little bit of a feel to it. It's supposed to soften your hair, but if you put, put too much, I am noticing, I'm like, no, it's okay. it can be a little crunchy. I guess they claim too, also, if you're doing a nice, like slick hairstyle and want everything down, this would be ideal to keep everything down as well, nice and secure. And like I said, I did notice it. I used it briefly before this video and I was like, okay, the flyaways aren't as bad, so very nice. Now I picked it up in this, what they got? Oh, they had a melon cucumber flavor. They had non-scent, uh, you know, oh, no, flavor. I keep saying flavor. <laughs> they had non-scent and I thought, no, let's go with the melon cucumber because I'm like, oh, I'm, I love that smell, but oh, this is not no melon cucumber. I don't know what this is. It's like some plastic, but <laughs> it doesn't have that melon cucumber scent they claim. So I think it would most likely be worth it to go with the non-scent and I should have, but they caught me at the melon cucumber. But yeah, check that out. If you have a lot of flyaways and need something quick to just kind of lightly add on, I haven't used it for a full application. Just a little, like I said, a couple of those flyaways that I had sticking straight up in my last video. It was just ridiculous. But anyways, I think that's it. I don't have, let me go through the other day. I did a video and found two dresses underneath. I'm always all over the place. So, but friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to keep shining, keep smiling, and I'll see you next time. Bye.